Hi, YouTube friends. This is your girl, Cherie. I'm coming to you with what I am considering as my January's beauty box. No, this is not a box that you can subscribe to. This is just a bunch of items that I have that I'm going to be using for the entire month of January. As you all know from my previous video, I said I'm going to be doing a shop your stash this year. And I truly mean it. So I'm starting with the month of January. Every month, what I'm going to do is a beauty box for each month. And it's going to consist of different items that I either, one, have not used, two, have used but put it to the side, or three, is something that I just need to use up before I end up throwing it away. I'm trying to do away with wasting. So I'm going to be doing these boxes. Let's get started. This is my box, y'all. And... It's just a box that I had that I decided I'm just going to put these items in this box and I'm going to do, I mean, it comes down from makeup to skincare. So let's get started with the first thing. This is, um, let's see, this is the Deep Quench Moisture Butter by the company Bell Nouveau. And this is in the scent, um, Vanilla Buttercream. Y'all, this stuff really does smell like vanilla buttercream. So if you like buttercream frosting, you would love this. Now, I've been having this for about six months. As you can see, I've used it. Now, the problem that I'm having is I haven't used it up. And with all things natural, as you all know, that natural products truly, they have a, a shelf life. So you want to go ahead and use it up. As you can see, the oils are starting to separate. And so... To avoid having to keep mixing the products, this is something that I'm going to use until it's gone. I'm more than sure that I'll be finished with this before we get halfway through the month as I'll be using this before and after showers. And since I have this new workout routine going on, I'm more than certain that that will be gone in no time. And once it's gone, I'm going to come back and give you a complete product review on it and tell you what I think about it. Now, the next thing that I know for sure I'm not going to finish this, but I plan to make a big dent in it. And this is the Tink Color Palette Camoufl uh, Camouflage Concealer Palette from BH Cosmetics. Now, this is like my favorite. As you can see, the reason why I like it so much is because it has these peach looking correctors. And as any woman of color, a peach corrector is going to look good on your skin as far as concealing the dark circles under your eyes. And of course it has regular concealers in there that I can use to conceal because since I've moved, I moved to an area where humidity is not my friend. And it's crazy because my hair loves it here, yet my face hates it. My face loves humidity. And since it's not really humid here, my skin has gone ballistically insane Therefore, I've been getting some acne scarring. So, of course, yeah, I need some concealers to conceal these spots. I mean, oh, but yeah, that's another story. Which leads to the next items. As far as skincare, I'm going to be using these Ahaba um, Active Dead Sea Mineral Products. I'll show it to you one by one. The first thing I'm going to use is the Time to Clear Rich cleansing cream hopefully you can see that there it is the rich cleansing cream and this stuff has um dead sea minerals in it actually i like this a lot now this product is not cheap <laughs> however when it comes down to skincare you have to splurge on your skin i mean because the last thing you want to do is have a lot of high-end makeup and skincare products that really doesn't do anything for your skin this stuff is really good. So I'm going to use this. And this is not something that I'm trying to use up. I'm trying to get, um, I have a skincare routine, but I'm trying to find the perfect combination of products that work during a certain time. So I figured since it's really dry now, I would try this. Also, as far as the facial exfoliator, I'm going to use the Time to Clear Facial Mud Exfoliator. Um, in terms of a mask, I'm going to use a Time to Clear Purify Mud Mask. Now, this is a deluxe sample size because when I was ordering the other two products, I had a lot, I had other masks that I was using, so they sent me this as a sample. So I'm going to be trying this, 
And as far as the moisturizer, I'm going to use the Ahava Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer. Now, I love this stuff. No, I did not buy a full size of this because a full size of this is 40 bucks. However, I've managed to accumulate about five or six of these sample sizes. So, yeah, I have no need to buy a full size one. I have enough. Now, one thing I noticed about with your skincare, what you want to do is, of course, I'm going to, after I use my cleanser, my exfoliator, my mask, I'm going to be toning with this, um, the Body Shop Seaweed Clarifying Toner. Now, I have this entire kit, and I will be honest and say, I don't like it. But I'm going to do, I do like this toner. I don't like nothing else that come with the kit. I'll do a product review because what I'll probably do for the month of February is use up the rest of those products. But as you can see, I don't have that much toner left. So once I finish this, I'm going to go back to Witch Hazel, which works like a charm. Now, in addition to the moisturizer, I will be using this, this eye cream, this restoration eye cream. It's by Freeman's Beauty. See if you can see that. There you go. Now, I got this eye cream in, they did an October um, mystery bag. And this eye cream, it came in there. And one thing I, I've learned that it's always great to use an eye cream along with moisturizer because you want to use the eye cream, of course, for your eyes because that's sensitive skin in this area. Then you follow up with the moisturizer on the rest of your skin. Now, moving back to makeup. I'm going to be using up this BB cream. Okay, this Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, and this color is deep. I like this BB Cream, but I've been having it for a while, and it's time to use it up because I have um, I have three other BB Creams that I like. However, I am like the ultimate DIYer, so I figured out how to make my own BB Cream that I like more than any of these. So I'm going to use these up. I should be finished with this by the end of the month because I have like maybe this much left. So I should finish this. Um, in terms of eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Mega Plush. Y'all, when I first bought this mascara, I liked it a lot. However, I tried the benefits. They're real. And I kind of been stuck on that mascara. So I'm, tr I'm right now, I'm in a process of just using up mascaras that I have that I like. I mean, because I do like it, but I like their real better than any other mascara that I've tried. So, once again, shopping my stash, I'm going to go ahead and use this up before I open up another their real. Let's see. Um, in terms of blush, I'm going to be using Be a Bombshell in Beach, please. This is the color. Oh, yes. It is definitely hot pink. There you go. That's the true color. This is a beautiful color. I actually have a little bit on my cheeks now. You really can't tell because of this because of the lighting. But I got this blush in an Ipsy bag. This is like one of my favorite blushes. And I've been neglecting this blush because I've been playing in other stuff. So I want to, you know, I want to reconnect with it again. So that's why I'm going to use it. Um also, I have by Sleek Makeup this glow, and this is the color, Gold Digger. I got this, like, I want to say, like, last March or April. And I kind of dropped it, so I have, like, this nick. I like a nick in the corner here. But it's very pretty, as you can see. I think I may have used it one time. One time. Sad. That's okay. I'm going to use it for the entire month of, Jan of January. I can't even talk. Fire me. Now, in terms of lips, as far as just regular moisture, when I don't want to wear any color, I'm going to use these Maybelline Baby Lips. This one is like, I want to say Fruit Punch or something. Of course, that's what it looks like. Y'all just like me talking. <laughs> so we already know that now. But I've been having that one for a while. And it's just been sitting there looking at me like, use me, use me. And I haven't been using it. But that's okay. I'm going to use it now. Um, in terms of lipstick, this is by Tarte. This is the Amazon Glamazon in the color Fierce. It's the color I have on now. 
That's what it looks like. I'm just watching on my hand and see if you can see it better. This is in the um, color Fierce. I got this last year in January's Glossy Box. This is a nice lipstick. It's very moisturizing. The only problem I've been, I was having with it, which is the reason why I wasn't using it, is this is more of a yellow base red. And I find that I look better in blue base red. So that's the reason why I never use it. I mean, this is a nice lipstick because this, re this lipstick itself retails for $26, but even at $26, the color wasn't working for me. So I decided I I'm going to use it this month. And But what I decided to do is I'm going to be pairing it like I did now with this um, Boutique Lip Pencil in the color Current. Now, Current is one of my favorite colors. And as you can tell by the packaging, I've been having this lip pencil for a while because Boutique doesn't even make these lip pencils like this anymore. They have a clear top now and the packaging is completely different. So, I know I won't use up this lip pencil this month. However, I will use it and I'm going to use it every day or every day that I wear makeup. I will, if I reach for a lip pencil, it will be this. All of these items, of course, I'm not going to use every day except for my skincare because I wash my face twice a day, morning and night. So those items will get used all the time. Everything else is going to be dependent on what I'm doing. As far as my brows, I will be using this um, eyebrow, uh, eyebrow pencil by MAC in the color Spiked. Um, I like this pencil a lot. However... Um, I found another brow pencil that I really, really like, and it's by Cella, and and I got it in an Ipsy bag, and I like it more than I like my Mac Spike pencil. So I'm going to use up this, and more than likely I'm going to stick with the Cella brow pencil because I like it better than the Mac. And one thing I really like about it is the fact that the Cella pencil it retracts. This Spike pencil does not. So if you make the mistake of rolling up too much. Yeah, that will be a big mistake. And let's see, um, as far as eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Onyx Pencil by Starlux. Um, when I was getting my Starlux subscription box, um, I think this one came in the birthday box. And so I actually really like this. Matter of fact, this is not something that I'm trying to use up. It's just something that I like. Um, I actually like this one better than the MAC. Feline Cold Pencil. So if anything, I should have had the MAC Feline Cold Pencil in this box instead of this because I really do like this one. Oh, well, I'll probably add Feline to next month's box. And lastly, in terms of eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And um, this is what it looks like. This is actually a nice palette, y'all. It really is nice. I got shadow everywhere. Yeah, if I hit it on an angle, you can see it. This is the ammo palette. I got this um, palette last year sometime. And I use it today to create this look. Don't talk about my makeup application. Hey, this is a work in process. It's going to get better with each look, I guarantee. But I used it to create this look and... I like the colors. The sad part about it is this is my first time using this palette and I've been having it for how long? And this is my first time using it. So I'm not trying to use this up. I'm just trying to use it. So I know if this is all I have to work with, I'll get a chance to use it and see what I can do with it. But yeah, that is my January beauty box for the month. And what I plan to do in... All of my upcoming videos for the month, I plan to create some type of look using all these makeup products. That way you can see what I'm able to create and yeah, we can go from there. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do because I promise I will get a lot better with uploading videos and thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.